Okay, so now we've got these. I guess I can increase my strokes here. Yeah, let's just have this expand out a little bit. Hmm. Feel like a wasted an opportunity here. Let's break let's lower let's lower these corners. And figure everything else out. Might have to make some more ocean to compensate for the fact that Mount Kilimawander is a bit on the big side. Well, that's okay. We'll we'll figure that out as we go along. Let's see. See, I think that's good. I don't know why I'm so committed to making a mountain here, but I am. Let's use some of this upper, uh, some of my re remaining HP. Let's tank down a little bit more of this environment. Like, we still need to have some land here. But we don't need all of it. Okay, let's... Bring that down so it's not totally square. I'm just trying to make slightly more natural forms. Okay, so we're set to 40-something degrees. The other thing is, is it the... Does deeper ocean have... Uh, does deeper ocean... Create... Uh, make things warmer, I guess. You know, I have no idea. I'll just let it go for a moment, and we'll see. Mount, Mount Kilimawander will show up. Okay, so we've, we have Elvrathia. Wait, was it Elvrathia that we're looking for? I have no idea. Yes, it was. Oh, it's these horrors. They're, they're the, the horror eels. I, I know these things, sort of. Cephalocordate uh, that lives within with Elrathian very hot waters. Oh, that's that's Pikaia. Okay. Well, I think we're good. Let's just pick up this item, whatever it is. Normal recovery leaf. No idea what a recovery leaf does. Okay, well, let's go out of this. Uh, recovery leaf. HP. Oh. So that, that makes it so I get some extra HP so I can sculpt freely. Okay. It looks like a, a lot of the things that I've created have kind of... popped up here. Okay, so they drop down. That's good. I'm just gonna lower the ocean around here. Might mess up their system, or their setup, but... I'm... It, it feels like they're really concentrated around this deep ocean spot. So if I, uh... If I, if I give them some, like, deeper ocean to work with, life might, might actually work out. Okay, let's... Let's start with some deep ocean, by the way. deeper ocean. Might as well just put a giant hole over here for the time being. I just want to see what collects, because they really love that one section right there. It, quite a lot. Okay. So maybe... Maybe if we open it up a bunch, we'll get we'll get something nice, or nothing. We might just get nothing at all. Okay, that's probably good enough. Let's let's start time going again. Uh, 
Okay, Cyclomedusa, so on and so forth, seem to be doing well. Every everything seems to be thriving for the most part. Plant animal land. Yeah, I did scan the Elevrathia. This is not the icon I expected for Pikaia, admittedly. I guess it kind of works. Okay, let's speed time up for a bit. Was that it? See, oh, seed, seed of mutation has emerged on the cube. Oh, Dino, di, Dinorthus. What? Did, did we get like a dinosaur or something? I have no idea. Okay. What do we got over here? Well, if I can drive, be easier. No, that's the Pikaia. It's whatever this thing is. Okay. Dinorthus. A brachiopod that lives with Calunia and Elrathia in very hot shallows. Neat. Okay. I'm just gonna bop right out. I'm just gonna let things go. Uh, start time. Let's fast forward a little bit. I guess it did say they were new. Ofer Oferoid or whatever. Yeah, we might as well uh we might as well scan as many of these uh critters as possible. So we can find them. Oh, starfish! Sort of. Okay. Ophiroid. I don't know. Anyway, a star shaped and a, a chino a kino Derm that dwells in shallow seas among Colunia, a carnivorous creature. It mainly subsists on Dinorthus. Yeah, sorry my uh, pronunciation of all of these is terrible. This game must be like an absolute uh, dream for um, for like dino aficionados. But for me, it's just like, bleh? Okay, um, let's do some other things for a moment. Ooh, maybe not. Uh, let's see. I'm not... What are those noises? Oh! I had the wrong thing. I I had the speed, speed boost selected. I was wondering why the ocean was, like, ending up super... uneven here. I, r I really do wish that there was, like, a smooth down, smooth up rush. Like, we kind of already have it, but we kind of don't. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna leave the thin strip of land on the outside. Let's see. Oh! Because I leveled up, I've, I've got a smaller brush that I can use. Good. I'm just gonna kind of shrinky-dink some of this down. I, I want more organic-looking shapes. Break away from like that that original weird design that I had. I mean, part of it is I could also just kill off some of these things by dumping them into the water. Kind of don't want that though. Some of these are cool looking though. Okay. Yeah, I wonder if player level transfers over to free play mode and stuff like that. That'd be kind of That'd be kind of handy to know. Okay. It's not exactly better, but I, I like the kind of weird paradise situation that we're looking at. Okay. Oops, wrong direction. Okay. So we want to do... Raise all this up. Still gonna have to make more... Oh, we're at a... We're out of HP. Okay, I guess I could burn one of my recovery leaves, but I think we'll be fine.
Looks like most of the things I'm I'm putting down are fairly okay. All right, so we get a small recovery leaf. Yeah, so those are those are just there mainly to um Those seem mostly present to one second. Messed up here. They they seem present so that I can get a uh, I can get more chances to build. Which I guess actually makes a fair bit of sense. Okay. Mount Kilimawander is not a uh, precise deal, to be totally honest. Oh, no, we gotta be one out right here. There we go. Um, might have done it wrong. I think we're good. No, yes. We're all good. Okay. Should probably feather some of these edges out. But it probably doesn't matter too much. I'm just a little bit worried about extinctions. Okay, let's let's go smaller brush. Oh, and we're out of we're out of time. Yeah, part of it is now that I have a bigger brush, I'm behaving a little bit dumb. Okay. Maybe not dumb necessarily. But uh my design is is suffering for it. Okay, let's let's go big. Lower this one down a little bit. Really wish there was like a symmetry mode or something like that. Oops. Okay, so you don't immediately kill the thing. It will die if you're not careful, though. Okay, let's raise this up. There we go. Life is good. Lower a couple bits more. Raise this. There we are. It'd be nice almost if we could do like a 2x2 two two brush. But I guess it's probably for the best that we don't. Okay. Let's lower a bunch of this down. Poor mountain. It tries. But yeah, then we'll get a nice mountain river going down. Or we will get stuck here forever. There we are. Okay. Really hard to balance these. This is really hard to get into position. Holy crap. These controls do... Okay, fine. Let's use a uh, mouse cursor for this one. Instead of being stuck here forever. Okay. Unfortunately, getting the uh, the proper symmetry is going to be a bit of a pain. Because I'm probably going to have to do it one by one. Either that or give up. I really do like how I say, eh, I'm not going to bother with symmetry at all. And then I'm bothering real hard with symmetry. Well, I am nothing if not a hypocrite. Okay. I'm gonna raise these up. Let's go over here for a second. So it goes this weird L shape, zigzags a bunch. Over here.
I think it's like that. Oops. Let's lower that down. Uh, let's go here. This is probably easier if I just do single, single cursor. Okay. I just want to have one large mountain on my hands here. Oh. Oh, I see what I did wrong. This is all supposed to be up. I think. So this goes three, turn, other turn. It'd be really nice if I could see this on the mini map or copy it or something. Oh, wait, no. Yes. Okay, it's looking about right. Then it does another, another diagonal. And that's it, okay. That looks, that looks correct, good. Not a fan of this like weird nub in here. That'll do. Maybe I'll expand this up here. Let's move it out. I don't even know where the river's gonna go. The river's gonna do interesting things. Okay. And yeah, I'm not even... I'm not even sure... How, like, symmetry or anything like that's gonna work. Okay. Well, not symmetry. I, I'm not sure how the river's gonna go down the mountain. I don't even know how it's gonna handle the surfaces. Okay. On today's episode of... Uh, Birthday's the Beginning. Wander fights with mountains. And symmetry. And his own... Uh... Compulsive nature. For... Like an hour. It's surprisingly, uh, enjoyable. <laughs> okay. I didn't even realize we've gone over time here. But I guess I'm spending so much time sculpting the landscape that, yeah, go figure. Okay, so this actually pulls back a bunch. Oh. We want to start bringing some of these up. Okay, there we go. That's looking a little bit better. We're so close. Okay, so it turns... That actually goes back to instead. And then zigzags a bit. And I'm going to say... That's probably symmetrical. I mean, I've got a couple other things that I should probably lower down, like this section. And then I'm going to go put a river source at the top. Right up here. Nah, definitely right here. Okay, oops, wrong one. Mount Killamal wandered. No, I was working on you. Anyway, yeah, we should probably also... Okay, let's do River Source. And let's start lowering things down. Okay, so this is gonna break the this is gonna break the symmetry. But that's okay. Eh, let's use the mass cursor for this. Okay. 
lower some of this down. Kind of like the idea of me uh, some like basic pools as we go along here. Yeah, make the mountain symmetrical, and then the moment the river is introduced, I just destroy it all. Well, shouldn't surprise anybody. Okay. Let's make this whole area kind of poolish. Oh, maybe I should put like an island in the center. Not going to be easy to do that though. So let's let's not. Okay. Go back here. Span this down. Let's go here. Let's let's have a bit of a waterfall going. Actually, we can have a we can have a split. Let's let's do that. Okay. I guess seeing as we're here, let's just go down a bunch. Okay. Let me see. So if I do this. There we go. Oh yeah, that look that looks nice. Let's lower this section down too. Let's add some parts. Make it look a little bit less uh square. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so we've got a nice big waterfall going down here. Then we've got like a a little C section that's gonna just do. Let's just kind of have it uh, snake back to the ocean. I guess maybe I should. Oops, wrong direction. Let's actually let's actually make sure it's a river. As opposed to the ocean. I like the ocean, but uh, I want to see what kind of river life forms we can get. If I actually have some. Okay. Let's do this. Because yeah, I, I went too deep. Okay, so if I do up and then down, there we go. Up, down. Up, down. Up, down. Oh, we're out of HP. You know what? Let's use let's use a recovery leaf. I got a bunch of these. Okay, so now let's go back to making big river. Let's see. Let's bring this down. Bring this down. Okay, we want to close it to that. Uh Bring some of this up a little bit. I'm very insistent on on my rivers. I love rivers. They're absolutely wonderful. Okay, let's expand this up. Oops, wrong direction. Okay. I was never much of an ocean kid. I grew up in California, so after a certain point, the, uh, the magic kind of disappeared. Which, I mean, it sucked. Sort of. But it was also, it, it was... It was nice. It was nice having access to the ocean in such a like substantive manner for so long. Okay. Uh Lower these. Oops. Guess I'll raise this section. 
Raise lower. Okay, there we go. So now the river has a... Uh, Now the river has... Let's do about here. That seems reasonable. Okay, so now we now we have a, a nice big old river. Which is slightly different than the ocean. I'm not entirely sure if things are going to grow differently in it, but hey. Why not? Okay. So now let's compensate by lowering large tracts of land into the sea. Let's see. Overall temperature still needs to go up a couple of degrees. I guess the one thing is we can put a big ol' ocean over here. Let's do that, actually. Let's, oh, let's have something like crazy deep. Maybe like right here-ish. Okay, crazy deep. Might, uh, might fork the river and have it split off somewhere. Okay, we'll do that later, though. Looks like nobody's dying off, necessarily, which is a good sign. Tons, tons of grass. Okay. So hard. Getting uh, some of this to go down properly. I'm just gonna tank it down a bunch. I don't know what's gonna show up if I have like an incredibly deep o ocean section. We can go deep. Okay, that's probably good enough. It also seems to have uh, cranked up the temp by a fair amount. Yes. Okay, let's let's let it do its thing. Let's turn on fast forward. We're probably in a good spot. So just pay attention to see if anything's new. Packy something in who's it's Okay. I have no idea. Oh. It's in my original river. Oh, it's just like another shellfish. All right, whatever, we're in range. Okay, a Dinorthus that can live in freshwater. When rivers first began to form, it migrated to to them from the shallows. Neat. Okay, let's uh, get this item, whatever it is. Another normal recovery leaf. I think once we get an even bigger world, I'm probably going to put a lake in here. Probably coming off of this, actually. Now that I'm thinking about it. it might not be a bad idea, actually, if I just were to do it, like, right now. Water, 41 degrees Celsius. Sea, minimum. Oh. Okay, yeah, let's make that lake. Uh, turns out it's a little bit toasty for what I'm doing here. Okay, uh, let's go back into macro mode for a moment. Okay. Let's, let's actually make it colder around here. This isn't going to do too much, but it'll help. Okay, mainly I I also just want to have this lake. Oops. Because who knows, we might get some more uh, freshwater buddies if we do so. And I like freshwater buddies. Okay. So I'm just going to fill this all up. One question is whether or not I can actually uh, force the the river source to be higher. I guess I could probably actually raise it if I tried. 
Okay. Raise this again. And unfortunately, this is going to kill an amount of the vegetation. Which I feel guilty about, but curious. Oh, whoops. All right, good enough. Oh. Maybe not good enough. Let's raise this up. Yeah, we don't want any, uh, we don't want the sea below the, uh, below the river. I don't even know what that would do. Probably bad things. Okay. And since it's a lake, let's round off the edges a bit. Let's see, can I have... I can have the river feed in if I felt like it. Sure, why not? And we're out of juice. Well, that's okay. We probably want to make a bypass anyway. Okay. And Estrapsis. I guess we got it. Estraspis. Heck yes! Happy birthday! You know, it's sort of cute. Remember, the library? There's other information there besides what life forms you captured. Like life forms you've birthed but haven't captured yet, or hints for life that haven't been birthed yet. If you set it to view tree, you can even see how different organisms are connected. Now you should try for Andriolepsis. Okay, well let's uh let's go in here. Uh let's go into first person view. Okay, let's pick up the item. Is the thing we're looking for? Oh, it is adorable. It is absolutely adorable. Looks like a Dunsparce, kind of. A jawless fish that swims through the ocean waters and consumes Pacaya and Cyclomedusa. And we level up. Hey! 900 HP now. We can, we can be at work for quite a while now. Alright, well, anyway, I think this is actually a really good stopping point. Uh, technically for two episodes, but whatever. Uh, so I guess I will see you guys in the next episode of Birthdays the Beginning. We're just going to keep messing around this with this world. Eventually, I'll be happy with it. But for now, see you guys next time. And as always, thanks for watching.